Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to Rapella Fella. Uh, from the prologue, which I did play, the game is set in the late 60s or early 70s. But this guy is meant to be a, a bit of a war veteran. And the prologue uh, showed us that he gets stuck in some kind of bunker. He has very, uh, very Fallout style. And when he gets let loose on the world, well, it's nuclear winter as you can see. Uh huh. But yes, yes, yes. This game is also asking the question how Australian can you be? The answer is very. <laughs> from, uh, from my visual perspective, the game is definitely taking inspiration from, uh, from South Park. And yes, the music you hear in the background is What's in Matilda, which is a quintessentially Australian song. For most people, the end of the world wasn't quite what they'd expected it to be. Nobody could have predicted what was in store for us. But what is the end of the world anyway? Is it the end of life as we know it? Is it the end of life itself? Can the world truly end if there's someone left to tell the tale? Now, where shall I begin? How about with a fella I once knew? I think his name was... Ah, oh. oh, his name isn't important. Anyway, his story begins back in... Ah, oh. ah, well, at this point, let's just say it was a while ago. There he was, after a long hard day of... Oh, okay, that did cut off uh, rather abruptly, but it looks like it is entirety of the cutscene. So yes, 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 it is, 1968. He's been on the road for a while now, so he decided to stretch his legs and walk around a bit. Right, so the game definitely has a side-scroller view, and there's a point-and-click aspect to it. Barry Bear's Basics. Mouse and keyboard. Can I read this? Oh yes, I can, okay. That is the actual instructions, look at that. Yes, that's right, that's, that's what koalas look like. It's exactly what koalas look like. They also stink like hell. Lockpicks. Can't imagine yeah. what I need these for. Uh huh. Seems oh, yes. like someone had a bit too much to drink. Or not it's enough. I think it's Americans a... call them flip flops. <laughs> flip flops. Ah oh, yes, the Mexicans call them chanclas. An empty bottle. I prefer uh -huh. full ones. I need to use the window that it mentions. Okay, and there is. The yeah. drain. There might be something stuck in there. It's a rock. A thong. Must belong. Bad news. It's always bad news. That's right. It would have been news if it was good. Lol. <laughs> a phone. But a phone. But I don't have anyone I need to call. Yeah, okay, fine. Yeasty bite. Tasty stuff. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, that is not the real brand name, of course. With everything else crawling around here, these are pretty harmless. Uh huh. I love these things. I eat five for breakfast every day. <laughs> yeah, the same. That is not the actual brand. Uh, no thanks. I hope I never have to get on a plane again. Uh huh. Apparently, this guy is a bit of a Vietnam War veteran, so yeah. Nah, I can't cook for shit. <laughs> that makes two of us, buddy. Tonight's that makes special. two of us. Looks like pizza and beer. Okay, so let's get that. Sauces. Uh, I think that's better. Scissors, paper, toilets, that way. He's occupied. The bell should get his attention. Be with you shortly. Just let me get this in the oven. Yeah, not a bad deal. There. How's it going? Yeah, not too bad, thanks, mate. What can I get you? Uh, just give me the special. Too easy. Seven dollars. Jeez. Uh, hey, uh, while you're waiting, can you do us a favour and grab my car keys? I dropped them in the drain over there on my way in tonight. Fucking sausage fingers over here. Uh, yeah, no worries. Alright, time to go looking for the keys. Ah, there's some sort of lock on it. Uh, I can't reach him. Thankfully, he remembered there were some lock picks back near the gate where he first entered. Yeah, so this is very much part of the prologue, which you can get on Steam. But yes, 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 the full game does indeed include the prologue. <laughs> Thieving bastards. <laughs> I might be able to use these on that drain over there. You might be, mate. You might be. Who do you think you that. are? You think you're a thief, eh? That's my oh, yes. work, you. Uh huh. There you go. Okay, now the lockpicking game kind of plays a little bit like uh, like Oblivion. So basically, you gotta find the right pattern. 
Yep, there you go. That's one. Oh, I think it's okay, broken. double break. So it was one, two, three, and then four. So you gotta find the actual pattern for the for the tumblers. <laughs> got it. Looks useful. How'd you go? Yeah, not a problem. Here they are. Thanks. I appreciate it. Your order's ready. See you next time, eh? It was time to go home. <laughs> See you, mate. Oi, 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 oi! Hey, uh, can you can you spare some change? The fella blocking his path looked like some kind of homeless war veteran. He undeniably smelled like one. So from one veteran to another, hey? Uh, yeah, he does, yeah, he wants a beer. He wants a beer. For what? What are you gonna do with it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, You don't want change, mate. You want one of these. Come on. And with that, he got back in his ute and he headed home. Uh. What followed was a recurring, well, you'll see. Anything? <sighs> Nothing. We're too far down. Doesn't help that I can't see for shit. How's that? I told you. There's too much ground above us. <sighs> alright, alright. Let's just, uh... Let's just go for it then. Down there? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm not letting that little prick get away. Not after what he's done. Give it to the rats. They live for this shit. Ah, uh, by the time they get here, he'll be bloody miles away. Just stay here. I'll go. You've lost your bloody marbles. Can't say I would have disagreed with him. Okay, and we are in the tunnels in somewhere in the jungle in Vietnam, I think. He's indeed a Vietnam War veteran. Look, there's rats. Rats. It's a pretty large rock. I shouldn't talk any more than I need to. Yes, yes. It's pitch black down here without those. Mm-hmm. It turns a makeshift light on. There is a note over here. No idea what this says. Ah, oh, it's all Greek to me, man. It's all Greek to me. He caught this one off guard. Very fortunate. Uh, ideally, you want to be as stealthy as possible, right? So I think this is the default option, but I think this would be devious, but at the same time, you don't want to alert everybody else, so... Yeah, this would be a smart option, and we also need to take his gun. Although, I think I'll keep my pistol. Mm, yeah, I mean there is a rifle, so I guess they weren't civilians. So, okay, fair enough. I can't do much with a rock. <laughs> oh yes, of course. <laughs> of course. Uh, wait a minute, that's that's not what happened. Uh, let me think. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. <laughs> Lucky find. <laughs> nice try. <clears throat> Apparently those uh, those booby-trapped uh, pits were actually quite common as well. Bastards probably killed our guys for these. This uh -huh. must be where they cook. Vents. Must be where the fumes go. Yeah, gotta keep an eye out for things like Looks this. Clear. Okay. Oh shit! Did it again. Oh. <laughs> uh, actually, Ouch. Uh, that's not right. Uh, here's what he really did. Ah, uh, that's right. You know, back in my day, we used to get multiple chances to think. What do we got here? Must have had some bloody sharp eyes on him back then. Should be safe now. Hmm. Aside from dying already to that, uh, to that trap. Ah, uh, yes. He's an arm. This is how they bodies down here. He's armless now. Should be safe to walk over. It's a shovel. They must. It's a shovel. They must go through loads of them. I should check the rest of this tunnel first. It's pretty tight in here. I can't do much with a rock. Could be booby trapped. Oh, could be. Could be booby trapped. Screw sleeping down here. <laughs> oh, hello. Sticks out like dog's balls. Fuck knows what that was hooked up to. Ah, got 
You know how you backstab and fuck. It's probably the toilet, isn't it? Yeah, let's go with the knife. Can't can't afford to alert everybody else down here. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Those are probably oh, civilians. Again. <sighs> Despite all the pills, grog, and nasty takeaway food, he couldn't shake the nightmares. <clears throat> it was then that fate came calling. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, is this, um, repeller fella? <clears throat> That's me. Yeah, good. Listen, mate, there's a wild pig on the loose. It's run into my shop and it's kicking shit up all over the place. Can you come out and give us a hand? Uh, I don't know. It's pretty late. Late? What's late got to do with it? Listen, mate, if I go in there, it'll take me bloody head off. Just, uh... We'll leave the door open. It'll run out eventually. Oh yeah, and then what, what if it comes back? You're an exterminator, aren't you? What, what, what's the matter with you? You know, there's a call-out fee. L listen, mate, just just get your ass out of here, okay? Butterworths. You know where that is? Yeah, I know. Oh, bloody chop chop, man. See you soon. Elsewhere. Пока продолжаем полет на малой высоте. Так точно. Я не могу поверить, как далеко нам удалось продвинуться. Никто и не поверит, не отвлекайся. Как мы будем с этим жить? Не дергайся, мы же говорили об этом. Иди назад, я справлюсь тут сам. Chop chop, mate. Gonna move on, you lazy bugger. Oh no. The youth won't start. Ah, yes, how nah, typical. Start, you bastard. Three minutes to the end. Начинаю резкий набор высоты. Плавнее. Мне надо подготовить две боеголовки. And so there he was, off his chops, annoyed, and behind the wheel, hurtling ever closer to the inevitable. Hello? Hello? I'm here for the pig. This just in. One of the stolen aircrafts has reportedly been shot down south of Sydney. The plane is said to have... Knock, knock. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Three minutes, we will be on the goal. Почти готово. Открываю бомбалек. Даже если нас... Нас сейчас собьют, одна уже готова. What is this? Um, we could push him out. Shoot everyone on board. Follow orders. This definitely involves a nuke, doesn't it? So yeah, let's shoot everyone on board. This one just kicks the guy with the glasses out, but it doesn't change anything. Let's shoot everyone on board. Let's try this. We are not destroying the world, bend the horse. Did you want to? Oh, that's nasty. Oh, yeah. We saved the world. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, nah, I'm pretty sure he's dead. I'm not touching him. His fucking guts are hanging out. How far away are you? What's that siren for? Hello? Now, where's that pig? Uh, it's too dark. Oh, yes. Gotta turn on the lights. The pigs made a mess of the place. Blood. Defenseless. Didn't stand a chance. Yeah, that's right. I mean, he, I thought that it was going to wait for us to come. Didn't stand a chance. Looks useful. Uh huh. It's a bucket. Yeah, I thought it was going to wait for us to come and uh, save him. This could be useful. But not yet. I'll take that. Someone's in trouble. Uh huh. The door has been left open and unlocked for the second time. This is not a storeroom. Stop leaving random shit in here. 
Do you need another reminder as to why it is this is so important? If it happens again, I'm going to take your keys away and you'll find the next note pinned to your head. Oh yes, the door should remain locked at all times. Um, okay, um, I don't think he gives a shit about notes pinned to the head. <laughs> at least not now. Aha, uh -huh, mini tape. It won't work without a tape. I can't move it. Oh, yes, of course. We've got to follow these procedures. These instructions. They might open that hole on the floor. Yeah, but activate the terminal, release the valve, and then. So he's got the tape, I think. Ugh. Sorry, mate. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. That is nasty. Is that tape still readable? Lol. Valve unlocked. Okay, now we should be able to use this. I wonder what's the. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. <laughs> it's well, bacon. There it is. Looks like it's stuck. Okay, so we can't smack it with the board. Yeah, let's try this. Just for just for shits and giggles. <sighs> <laughs> Absolutely pointless. That's right. Apparently, you gotta kill the bacon before you fry it. So the spatula is kind of useless. Lol. Um, I think this one, yeah, this one definitely doesn't work. But yeah, this is the answer. That's just pissing it off even more. Oh yes, of course, of course, of course. What you're supposed to do is here. <laughs> and then the pig was dead. Uh huh. Free bacon. Dead. Might as well stick around until the police arrive. Sorry? We just got the call. Are you in there? Hello? Who is that? Where's Barry? He's, uh... What's happening out there? I don't know who you are, but you better not get into that bloody capsule. Did you use 21 to live one? Hello? Hello? What the hell is going on? Threat detected. Lockdown procedure initialized. Threat? For your safety, please board the capsule immediately. I've got to get out of here. Oh, yeah. Fuck, 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 fuck. Activated. Welcome to the GARN emergency shelter system. We are sorry to hear about the undefined event. 
As per transaction 19009, we have provided provisions for your mandatory stay of 15 years. Thank you. We hope you enjoy your stay in the revolutionary GARN emergency shelter system. In this place, time passed by differently. Seven times faster to be exact. He's still aged, but his passage through time was considerably swift. All right, so here we are in the Australian version of Voltec. That's my rifle. It's marked emergency exit. Uh-huh. It's a drain on the floor. It's a drain on the floor. Some kind of tapes or something. Experimental training? Oh, this sounds insane. Uh-huh. Definitely not a Voltec uh, <laughs> program. Okay, so we can either get smart or we can get tough. Uh, yes. Uh, let's, let's go smart this time. Let's go smart. Oh, wait. Uh... Okay, that's fine. Dunny roll. Uh-huh. Uh, metal looking toilet. Yes, the most important thing in the world when nukes fall no is the dungeon wall. Is this thing on? Oh, too many buttons. <laughs> oh, I think that's it. <clears throat> How's it going, old friend? Listen, mate, I figured it'd be best if I didn't put this in writing. Everything should be good to go. And I just wanted to let you know that they managed to slot the... Uh, semi-stasis field into your retreat. I'm no technician, but I've been led to believe that time will function differently in this little capsule compared to the outside world. That is to say, if it works. For all I know, it'll turn you into a fucking hot dog. Anyhow, I've got my own nest to get sorted. Won't be as fancy as this, but it'll do the job. Scary days ahead. See ya, mate. Okay, so I guess that means that there is someone else around. We won't be the only ones who survived the An news. emergency button. Uh, who are we going to call? <laughs> oh, hello. Dear Mr. Holt, in accordance to the agreement, blah, blah, your emergency shelter system has been stocked with all requested items and mandatory materials. In the event that the shelter is unused for a period lasting longer than 15 years, your requested item will be... Your requested items will be restocked free of charge. To ensure life support systems remain intact and functional, we request that you only use the shelter system in times of emergency. It is not designed to be initialized repeatedly and faults may occur. Right, it's a bit of a once off, eh? If there is a malfunction of any kind, please use the emergency help button located in the capsule. While in this use, the two man maintenance system, BA and JR, you have elected will inspect the capsule twice per year for your safety and security. I think BA would be, um, I think BA would be Barry, the guy who called us to get rid of the boar. If you have any further questions or concerns, please contact us any time of day or night. Oh, we hope you enjoy your stay in the revolutionary gun emergencies shelter system. Edward Newton, who are you supposed to be? That could be an important name. Great Australian Resource Network, yeah. If you say so, mate. Can't sleep yet. This oh, what is, is this? where food comes out? Apparently. Yeasty bite. On it. Books. Mostly about survival. Uh -huh. A jar of yeasty bite. Books. Looks like a bunch of survival manuals. Survival manuals. This is where food comes out? This is where food comes out? Dose. Dose of what? <laughs> eat, study, train, dose, eat. Okay, fair enough. Oh yes, what happens if we press this now? It's marked emergency. I don't think I should touch it. Alright, fine. They look fairly heavy. I don't know what most of this is. And who paid for it? Ooh, that's a lot of meals. That's a lot of meals. And considering that it's 1966, that's a lot of cash actually. Aha. Uh -huh. You might use this later. Uh huh, lips. There's some sexy lips. Looks like a little door. It's a drain on the floor. Oh, 
Monday afternoon, grave mistake. After much thought, I figured I would inspect the so-called doomsday retreat. Okay. Unfortunately, a submarine that brought me here seems to have taken off on its own accord. Okay. I've tried using the emergency help button to no avail. Oh shit. I don't believe it is functioning correctly. Lol. The radio shaped device on the table is of no help. Okay. Can't seem to send or receive any sort of transmission. Driving me up the bloody wall. Not a bad place overall, extremely isolated. Okay, the time comes, I don't plan to spend my time down here alone. Uh-huh, he's got plenty of magazines. Waited there too, I assume they have procedures for, for events such as this. I should have been home by now, oops. Wednesday morning, uh-huh. Nobody has come, no way of contacting the outside world, okay. This was like a year ago, right? Because it's meant to be like 1968. Small hatch on the floor, okay, we'll exit the room, if I can get it open. Don't have a clue how far down I am. Pretty decent swimmer, I wonder I might make it to the surface. Uh, probably not. I suppose the smart thing to do would be to stay put until help arrives. Hmm. Assuming it ever does. Don't have many years left and I can't do it without her. I have to try something. Who's her though? Anyway, he's hoping I'll make it. Okay, I guess he didn't. This looks helpful. I might read it later. It's a strange looking clock. Yes, this will be the AI system. So, uh, who am I talking to here? Hello, I am a G-A-R-N AI. My primary function is to help visitors with my state-of-the-art introspection module. Meaning, beyond what I've already told you, I can only answer a question with a question. In other words, uh, the AI is gonna be an annoying git. How do I get out of this place? What was all that shit about waiting 15 years? Where would you go? Would it be preferable to wait 15 years where you came from? Uh-huh, exactly. Just out of curiosity. What would happen if I smashed this box into a thousand little pieces? Why would you risk damaging my systems? Can you live without a supply of oxygen? Would you like to live in darkness for 15 years? What am I supposed to do down here? Do you enjoy reading and sleeping? What am I supposed to eat? What choice do you have? Ah, uh, we're gonna get drugs, man. What's in that container on the wall? Why don't we wait 15 years and see? Anyway, I think the important thing was to make sure that we um, that we got the food. Oh yes, gotta sleep, okay. So once we're done, gotta sleep. It was at this point that he felt comfortable with his new lodgings. He decided to call it a day. Little did he know how much would change from this point on. What is this? A long dark is drinking out of the toilet. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself there, mate? Who, who said that? You did. What? Where the voices inside doing your that. head, you big idiot? What do you think you've been learning about all this time? Voices? In my head? Oh, I've gone crazy, haven't I? Far from it, my friend. You've just learned to be a bit more in touch with your inner self. In touch with your inner self? That's the puffy way of saying it. What he means is, if you ever need help, you can count on us. We're with you from now until the very end. Yep, I've lost it. Is he deaf or just stupid? Oh, shush you. I said we should have waited until he was in bed and not, not having a wank. Oh, never mind him. He has no manners whatsoever. If you're in my head, how do I make you go away? Now who's got no manners? Well, we'll leave you to, uh, uh we'll leave you to it. I'll see you soon. Don't go blind, mate. <laughs> yeah, yes, full on waker. Full on waker mode. Attention, life preserving systems have been depleted. Please prepare to leave the capsule at once. Warning, the capsule will begin flooding in 60 seconds. Please vacate immediately. Fifteen years later, or 105 years in the real world, Oh shit. Real story begins. Oh okay. This is definitely different. <sighs> Wait. Someone's over there. Oi! Over here! 
Hey, Dick! Look, you better find a way. Whoa! There's no need for that. Put it down. Ни слова больше. На выход. I don't think she understands me. Oh, hello. The Russians have uh, have taken over. Shoot her with the pistol. No, no, no. Try to calm her down. She's got she's got the gun. We don't. Uh, just listen for a sec. I don't understand. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, wait a minute. That's that's not what happened. Uh, let me think. All right. Uh, the pistol would be faster. Uh. Billiard. <laughs> she was gonna shoot me. You'll be right. Oh, she's not dead. Okay. Ah, oh, what a bloody mess. Where the hell am I? Stop. Wait. Huh. So you do speak English? Don't let them see you. If they see you, they will kill us both. Kill us? Why? Who are they? I thought you were one of them. That's why I... Ah, <sighs> oh, that's just great. Use the hammer? What the hell is that? I'm guessing we're meant to take them out quietly, but... What the hell does the hammer do? <coughs> Jesus! <coughs> okay, fine. Maybe the hammer was the solution. But yes, it looks like the Don't Russians move. have taken over. Do you oh, speak shit. English? Uh, da, to ist, I mean, yes. Yes, I speak English. Good. You're a, uh, a medic, right? This lady, she has a shoulder wound. Reckon you can help? Yes, I think so. Please, put that away and lay her down. She is lucky. It went straight through. But she has lost a lot of blood. Can you tell me where we are exactly? I don't recognize anything. Are you lost? Uh, where do you want to go? Uh, that's a good question. Are there any towns or settlements around here? If you want a settlement, there is a train. Yes, train that will stop near here very soon to unload supplies. If you can board it, it will send you in the right direction. Really? Then how can I get on this train? I'm guessing I can't just buy a ticket. No, 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 no ticket. Uh, but you can probably sneak onto the train very easily. It is big train. Well, we'll see, I guess. So, what do you think I should do with you? Uh, please, I'm just a doctor, not soldier, li like her. I can tell she's an engineer from her uniform, not a fighter. If you spare her, please spare me. Take my weapon, I don't care. Yeah, let him live. I put him to sleep. Uh, okay. Fine. Huh? Can't let you warn anyone. Oh, we took the lady, okay. Пошевеливайтесь! У нас еще три остановки до утра! Empty everything from this car. Leave the prisoners alone. You! Think oh, prisoners, others. okay. Wait here until the truck arrives. Where... Where are we? Shh. Don't make a sound. Where did you get this car from? Quiet. Don't tell me to be quiet. Tell me where we are right now. Мы в четвером остаетесь здесь до следующей погрузки. Идем с грузовиком, возвращаемся в следующий день. Why are we moving backwards? Are we on a train? Are we on an RAEF train? Have you gone mad? Ты дурак! I don't know who you are, who they are, or why it matters whose train this is. I was told it'll take me to a settlement, so that's where I'm going. We might get past the settlement, but this train is going to head straight into one of their underground stations. Do you have a plan for that? Plan? What was your plan when you decided to point a gun at me? <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. There isn't a plan. What do you suggest? I think we should get off this train. Not now. Maybe further along, where it's warmer. 
I think, with some luck, we can drive this car straight off the back without anyone noticing. Fine, but it needs a key, and the key isn't here. Take this, I'll be back soon. Thank you, kids. Ah yes, I think we just got insulted. And also, where the hell are we? Uh, no, we don't want to use a gun. So I guess if we uh, specialize uh, on becoming a brick shit house, we've got to crush them. But anyway, do it quietly. No shooting. Oh, stop! Oh, Jesus, stab, stab. That is vicious. Смотри, что там? это черный медведь четыре пять. Мы наткнулись на странное судно. Трифует вдоль восточного берега сектора Д. Никак нет, это какой-то батискав, что ли. Черный медведь 45. Сообщите координаты. Um, we'll throw him off. No need to kill him. Get off the train. Oh, okay, oh shit. <laughs> okay. Center. Черный медведь 45. Okay, so much for no need for. Мы нашли два тела где-то в 200 метрах к западу от судна. Это наши. Думаю, надо сообщить госбезопасности. Ooh, state security, okay, gotta be careful there. Черный медведь 45, вас понял. Оставайтесь там, держите позицию. Пссст. Ой. In the air. I saw what you did. I'm guessing you're not with these guys. Can you get us out? There's only two of us. That door. I need it open. I think they've got a switch somewhere that'll release it. If you can help us out, we'll return the favor. Uh, I don't know. I'll have a look. Ah, uh, he's, he's literally pissing about. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now we have an SMG, right? And a uniform. Now, as long as nobody speaks to us, what is the RAEF? No need to touch that. They're sleeping. Let's leave them to it. Unlocked. Mine now. Okay, this time let's make sure that we touch the bottom. Perfect. What's the journal? Aha, the prisoners. It's garbage. Not sure I need that. They're probably just full of I need they're probably they're probably it's an oven. I need I need they're probably stocked full of kitchen utensils. I don't need can't think plates and a knife for every kitchen knife. So that's mine now. I guess it's a power outlet. Better not touch that. I really don't wonder if these fellas they're asleep. I wonder if these fellas an ashtray. Must have run out of beds. Yoink. Привет. This is a reminder to all personnel to keep an eye out for deserters and escapees. Our rails run in parallel to many of the roads and paths throughout the state. It's not uncommon to see wanderers travel in these areas. If you sight any individuals on your travels, be sure to stop the train to question them briefly. You can start with a simple question, which is to ask if they know their current location. Every road sign is coded with a sector number to confuse fugitives unfamiliar with each territory. If the individual does not know the correct sector name corresponding to the number, you are authorized to take them into custody. Escort any and all captured individuals to your destination, where an MSS agent will examine them further. It is your duty to be watchful. Хорошего дня. Right. So we gotta remember the sector names that correspond to the uh, to the individual sectors. Yoink. Where are the keys to the jeeps? Jeans? I don't have any jeans. Jeeps. The jeeps. Where are the keys? You want jeep? You're going for rides. 
No, you should ask Fyodor. When he's finishing drinking tea, he will take you for a drive. Thank you. Okay, and I think that's it. No need to touch that. He's not going to be a problem. I don't want to wake those guys. Wait. Perfect. This will get him off his ass. <laughs> Doctor shits the beds. <laughs> now, just gotta wake him up. Okay, now before we do that, ah, oh, the notes. Inspect cargo, inspect crew, deliver contents, unload SPG mm, A383. 2073. Jesus, okay. I think Fallout 76 takes place in 2076, right? So this is well before the Fallout universe. Okay, I think we already got that. Yeah, yes, that's right. We didn't get this I'm before. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Smacked him. <laughs> yeah, poor bugger. Hopefully those car keys are on him. Uh, and we'll do the same, which is to chuck him off the train, but... Yeah, either way he's gonna end up dead, right? So, hmm. Get off me lawn! Ouch! Jesus, that's visceral. That is visceral. We have confirmation of multiple REAF casualties at the previous checkpoint. A medic reports seeing a man and a woman in the area shortly before we arrived. The woman is said to be wounded. Inspect all cars and keep an eye out for suspicious activity. Got it. Time to go. Hmm? Pastoroni! Trivaga! You reckon? <laughs> foreign complaining. There's no foreigners always complaining. What happened to your leg? Hey, you can't drive like this. I'm alright, just. You're going to crash. Let me drive. And with that, he had his first setback. Quite a painful one at that. But the adventure was just getting started. Ah, oh, that sound. Fuck. Oh, my head. When's the bomb dodge you getting out of bed? Leave him alone. He cracked his noggin pretty fucking good. Huh. How about I crack my noggin and sleep in for the rest of the week? Why not make it a month? We could all do with a break from your whinging. Okay, fried eggs. Privet. Privet? What's Privet? Uh, how do we get here? Yeah, that's right. So, how do we end up here? You don't remember? No, I don't. <sighs> After you crashed the car we had just commandeered, I managed to pull you out of the seat to drive. We're lucky the car worked at all. They would have been searching the area for hours. We went further into bushland. They could not follow. Right, I get that, but what I mean is, how did we get here? You just found this place? No, I know my way around the area. These people are my friends. Ah, so it's like the resistance then. That train we were on, and all those people yesterday, they were soldiers. Who were they? They are the RAEF. They control the entire region. The entire state. At one time, they almost controlled the entire country. It's best to avoid them. Those people outside, who are they? Bush Rangers. Officially, we are nothing more than criminals. We do what we can to survive. Sometimes it means doing things you may not be comfortable with. You should prepare yourself for this. These guys outside, are they gonna expect me to do anything? 
We are all expected to do what we are best at. You may not like it, but if you don't serve a purpose, you will be forced out. And eventually, you will end up in one of the colonies. Life for someone like you will not be easy there. Yeah, fair enough. No, oh, okay, so concentration camps, basically. What were you doing the day we met? Why were you out there? I was heading south. I'd lived in the cold for too long. We have shelters all around the coast. It's better down here. So, I heard you're an engineer. My occupation in the RAEF before I escaped. I can fix things, or I can tear them down. This is how I help. Just before, I heard someone call me a bomb dodger. What's that supposed to mean? When the bombs fell all those years ago, groups of people, nobody really knows how many, were sent to live underground, or under the sea it seems. These people, your parents, grandparents, and yourself, have not suffered like the rest of us. So when they come out of hiding, they're labeled bomb dodgers. Parents? Grandparents? I was by myself the whole time. Ha ha. Maybe you get your head on your way to the surface. It has been 105 years, more or less. You either are a lot older than you look or very, very confused. <laughs> I mean, you can see the bandages on his head, so lol. <laughs> but yes, yes, yes. Apparently, uh, living one of those fallout vaults is actually a derogatory term. That's right, vault dweller is not a compliment. Sorry about your shoulder. We're both alive. That is all that matters. Hey, before you go... Yeah? After you shot me, why did you take me with you? Oh, I didn't want to shoot you, I just felt like it was going to be either you or me. Anyway, it just seemed like the right thing to do. I'm glad you didn't leave me there. Thank you. Uh, we could have chatted her up, but uh, <laughs> probably not going to need to do right now. Guess I'm in some sort of shack. Looks like these guys are pretty well armed. Yeah, that's an assault rifle. Looks useful. Okay, right. Make the northern town. Okay, more transportation to our final destination. I think she. I think her name might be Alexandra. Hmm. Doesn't say much. Crates. Cardboard box. It's a pen. Old man's seminoble's circumventions. What the hell? Oh, it's hacking. Right. Right, gotta go north. <laughs> Put things back where you find them, I ah, guess. Regardless of whether it's before or after the apocalypse, yeah, nobody likes somebody who takes it, takes shit and doesn't put it back. Whoever took my knife again without putting it back, you're gonna get a swift kick up the ass. Can't cut your dinners with a fucking butter knife. Return it, Dylan. Uh huh. And yeah, what the hell is this? Why is he bleeding? It's a uniform this? she was wearing when I met her. Pump action that? shotgun. Oh, that's a shotgun. Can I take it? Pump action um, shotgun. Guess not. 2073? Time really did go faster down there. Guess it did. Guess the maid's on holidays. <laughs> yes, uh, that's been a very interesting first look at this game, I have to say. The visuals are very South Park-like, as uh, it might be obvious to people who are familiar with South Park. Uh, the game is an adventure game, fundamentally. The game takes a little bit of a humorous bent based on Australian culture, plus a bit of a fictional rework on that, I think. I think the lore of the world is actually very interesting. I'm not sure if the developers plan to do anything with it, but I think that lore could actually merit a deeper look in a... perhaps in a different style of game, right? They've obviously spent a lot of time putting it together, and I think it would be a waste to just have it in a single game. So far, there doesn't seem to have been too much choice in terms of uh, changing the narrative. Pretty much every single decision seems to lead to the same outcome anyway, right? So for example, when I threw out the people from the train, I didn't I didn't expect them to die, but but apparently the only outcome that was possible was death. So in terms of uh, branching storylines, there aren't too many of them. But like I said before, the game is focusing more on the humor and the visuals as well, which are really, really good, I have to say. In any case, that was a first look at this game. It's called Repella Fella. And it is an adventure game, but it does take a very humorous and uh, South Parky look at uh, a fictional version of Australia. So far, so good, I have to say. Very interesting. And I think I will come back and keep playing it at some stage. But yes, in the meantime, thank you very much. Take care out there and have a great uh, week as well.